Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Samsung DeX. This is the desktop-like experience that we've had baked in into One UI or basically Samsung's UI for some time. Uh, you can use it on the Galaxy Fold, you can use it on the Note 10, but the main benefit here is that we now have a new way of interacting with DeX. It's not just necessarily connecting it to a TV or an external monitor. I'm talking about how do we connect to it on the PC? letting us interact with our phone and doing everything we want off of our phone without even having to actually open up the phone. In case you have the Galaxy Fold, yeah, you, you most of the time are gonna end, end up having to open it up. So yeah, you don't even have to open it up. You plug it in and you end up using all of the functionalities of your phone on your PC. This is TK and let's see all of the new improvements in the Samsung DeX. Like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we put out new videos on the channel. So what I have in front of us is basically devices that support DeX. We have the Note 10, we have the Note 9, and of course the S10 Plus, as well as basically the Galaxy Fold. Uh, the main benefit of what we're doing today is that typically in the past, the way we've interacted with DeX is by connecting it to an MHL. So it has to be basically something that converts the USB-C connector on the bottom of your phone. And essentially like this one I'm using, this one is called the Nestling. It connects to this one and it provides me with a full size HDMI connector. So, and this one also requires power, just to let you guys know, it's not just the box. Uh, the cool thing about this one is that it also offers me USB 3.0 ports as well as an SD card reader. So, on top of the fact that being an MHL adapter, it enables me to basically get that functionality. And the cool thing about it is once you connect it to your phone, you're not only using it as DeX, but you're also charging it, as this also has power connection. So, that's one of the main benefits. Once you connect to this, basically the typical way was always using this MHL and basically connecting it to a TV and or an external monitor and then you get a keyboard and mouse and everything works great. The new way we're using this obviously is the ability of connecting it to a PC. So let's go ahead and I'll walk you through some of the new UI changes that we have directly within the standard DeX, which is the way we normally use it. And then we'll switch over to the DeX on PC as well as the link to PC, which is also a nice little feature that enables you to basically get your notifications straight off of your phone onto your PC without even having to have the phone or the PC connected via wire. It runs over the wire, uh, over the internet and of course using the Microsoft account that you log into on your phone. So this is the Dex desktop for running off of my Note 10 Plus. Now this should be able to run on most of the brand new flagship devices from Samsung. So the S10, S10 Plus, uh, Note 10, Note 10 Plus as well as even the Galaxy Fold supports Dex. Um, and for the most part, depending on the device, is just basically a power requirement. Some of them won't work unless you have power connected to the MHL adapter that you're using. Uh, keeping in mind that this is one of the two ways you can run this. You can run DeX on PC or you can run DeX on your TV. I'm emulating the TV here on my PC here just to be able to basically record it for you. The short answer here, we have access to DeX. We have a couple of options. You can exit it, lock it as a normal phone you would be able to. Um, DeX Labs gives us the ability of basically enabling full screen app, uh, for basically apps that normally don't support it. And I'll show you guys which ones I mean by that. Uh, specifically the two that I have open at the bottom right here. The other option obviously is the how to use notices as well as contacting us in case you have any questions. We have standard recents app. You're able to scroll through. I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse now. That's the other thing. I have a keyboard and mouse connected to my MHL adapter, which enables me to be able to do things like this. So let's say I want to search for things like the, uh, here. I want to open up YouTube. I can start typing the word YouTube and it'll open it up. I can open up the application. Now by default, it opens it up in app mode. This is the way an app would normally run in DeX. So basically it's a pop-up window that you're able to resize. So let's say go ahead and we'll resize it right here and I'm able to open it, put it on the right side here. Now, if I don't have Twitter sitting here, I can just go straight into search again and I'll type in Twitter. And again, same thing, open up Twitter and Twitter will open up basically in an app mode. Uh, this will be basically running my feed and I can go ahead and basically check it up here. And that's the benefit of DeX, is the ability of running multiple apps in Windows, similar to the way we run them on PCs, uh, and still gives us the ability of basically using them fully. Uh, let's open up one more time here, and I know basically a lot of us like to do is basically type in Instagram. So here it is, Instagram will open up as an app. Uh, and the benefit again, again, we're all running the same thing. Uh, it's basically all applications all running at the same time. See more posts here, let's go ahead and hit home. Um, and the benefit of what you're doing here, and this one seems like it doesn't want to move, but the benefit here is I'm running three different applications. I can resize them. I can interact with each one of them, and I can still basically get the full experience of what Dex gives me in basically a desktop experience. On the right side here on the bottom, we have access to a few toggles. We have obviously Dex Labs, which is what we looked at, the keyboard, uh, sound basically, the normal way we get it on our phone. We are able to take screenshots. Let's go ahead and grab one right now. We're able to do search. Basically, this is what we were doing before, except this is more of a unified search. Uh, the ability of going into your uh, time here gives you access to the calendar, or you can open up Tasker. Obviously, we won't open up calendar. And I'm going to say always. 
and then this gives us access to my entire calendar and we're able to see it. Uh, we have the ability of seeing uh, the different toggles for Wi-Fi, mobile data, airplane mode, hot, uh, basically hotspot and so on, normal stuff that you see and as well as devices if you want to share to them, uh, signal strength as well as battery level and of course you have Bluetooth, NFC and as well as if you have any timers coming up, those are your alarms. Uh, your notifications come up in a pop-up menu type of style here on the right side you're able to interface with them and you can interface with some of them of course you can minimize this so that it becomes a little bit less uh, intrusive i would say uh, as far as instagram i'll go ahead and basically close or minimize instagram here we have as i showed you guys right there twitter and, and what we get all the other ones the reason why i don't show you full screen apps so here's an example this is the full screen app this is power director on my phone it's running as an app and i'm able to basically interact with it I'm, uh, this was a vlog that well, this was a podcast that i did with juan carlos bagnell not that long ago and i'm able to edit this go in there so basically i can select this here i can go in select different uh, inputs i can change basically bring in more content more stuff for my video and then of course add watermark add music full-blown editing on your on your phone as if you're running it on a pc and the cool thing about this is you're getting the benefit of a full display with your tv uh, again, this is if you're going with the wired method as a TV, not using it on a PC. Uh, last but not least, I want to show you guys, obviously, Netflix will work. Uh, I'm not sure if Netflix will allow me to play video, but let's go ahead and try to play this video. And as you can imagine, the uh, video will not play through my capture device because this is a copyrighted video. So for the most part, Netflix will work if you're running it straight on your TV, you can experience it. Again, really, really nice benefit here. And of course, you can use it in full screen mode. If you want to switch over to normal mode, which is basically with the way the app will normally open up. So we have to actually restart the app. And once you restart it, it'll pop up in a normal window like this. And then again, you can go in and then select the different videos you want to play. It'll just play in a window as opposed to having full screen functionality. I wish they would be able to fix that, that it actually has a transition between full screen and app mode without having to switch it. Overall, experience here is very similar, like I said, uh, to a normal PC. Now, the new improvements that they've done with basically the new version of DeX, this is the DeX that came out around the same time as the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, is the ability to actually use DeX on your PC, not necessarily just using it on a TV. Meaning, let's say you're using a laptop on your main desktop PC, you can connect your phone to your PC, getting it charged through your PC, and still get full functionality of DeX as an actual app running on your phone, on your on your computer. Let's go ahead and switch over to that. Now, the next way we have to be able to use DeX on our PC is basically the desktop version of DeX. You can use it on your Windows 7, Windows 10 machine, or even on your Mac OS PC. And the main benefit here essentially is that once you connect your phone to your PC, you're able to get a full version of DeX. This is what we're getting here. This is a full version of DeX, the same way we had it when we were running it with the, uh, the, uh, the MHL adapter, basically, if you connect it to your TV. The difference here is that I'm actually using this with my keyboard and mouse from my PC. This is not using a separate a set of peripherals. My keyboard and mouse will actually map straight into this. So let's go ahead and open it up here. Let's say I'm looking for uh, B and H, N H. So you can definitely see right there, the keyboard will work. I can open up the application, interact with it. Uh, again, uh, this is just something I haven't, I haven't loaded on this, in this interface, but you get the same toggles, the same buttons, the same notification options. You can actually open them up, close them. Uh, you can interact with your PC. And the really nice thing about this is the ability of transferring files from one side to the other. An example would be right here. Let's say I want to be able to transfer this video. I can actually bring it straight from my desktop into the DeX environment and say copy. And you'll notice right there, it's moving the 8.20 megabyte file straight over the cable that's already connected and transferring the file onto my phone. And the same thing will work the other way around. Let's go ahead and open a file manager here. What we could do here is open up the file manager, go into internal storage. Let's say I want to grab a picture straight out of my camera. I'll go into the DCIM camera folder. And let's say I want to grab this picture right there of a speed test or a video that I just did of a speed test. Uh, I'll press and hold it. Yeah, press and hold press and hold again. Now you notice there's a grab hand. I can take it out and you notice right there it's grabbing it to the right. I'll give it a second and it's moving basically the 100 megabyte file straight off of my phone onto my PC and enables me basically to be able to use it right away. So I'll give it a second to finish right there and here's the video. I can go ahead and open it up and this was basically a speed test that I did with the OnePlus 7 Pro um, running on Sprint, uh, L well, 5G LTE connectivity here in Los Angeles. You notice right there, Sprint, and it's connected to the Anaheim uh, post. And it got pretty good, uh, very decent speeds. Again, the benefit of DeX on PC is the symbiotic relationship between the desktop and the actual DeX experience. You're still able to open up all your apps. You're able to respond to your text messages, send and receive text messages, do everything you can do on your phone from your PC. But now you have the ability of using it straight onto your computer. 
Now, the last thing I want to share with you guys before we close all of this is that there is also the link to PC functionality that we've seen that was also talked about. And that gives us the ability of basically getting all of our normal uh, device notifications. You notice here, my Instagram notifications are coming, my Twitter information is coming in, my Galaxy plugin for the watch here. One of the main benefits is the ability of using that from your phone. And at all times, your phone is still fully functional and still gives you access to everything you want to do on it. So the process is very simple. It's compatible with PC and Mac. You just need to download the application and then connect your phone to it. When once you connect it, it automatically launches it. So by default, every time you connect your phone to your PC, it'll automatically launch DeX. And the really cool things, as you saw there, we're able to share files between the different environments. We're also able to basically do almost everything we want off of our phone straight from DeX, meaning we can respond to text messages, send text messages, open up applications, uh, check out emails, whatever we want to do if we don't want to do them, obviously, on our PC normally. But text messages and so on, all of those things are very functional. Now, the link to PC does work very nicely as well. You do need to use your Microsoft account on your phone and, of course, pair it to a PC and it'll work over the Wi-Fi. So as long as you're connected over Wi-Fi at home, the information will be shared between the two and you can send and receive text messages similarly from your notifications the way I showed you guys on my PC. You literally hit the notification, hit reply from it, and it'll send it to your phone. Um, I find running decks a little bit more functional because I get the full functionality of my phone. I can open up apps. I can run things in the background. I can even edit video on it as I showed you guys with PowerDirect. The thing about the actual adapter that I'm using, it's not unique by any means. It's just the one that I usually use. Uh, my recommendation would be is to get an adapter that's compatible with decks. So you should be able to find those on Amazon. I'll link you guys a few in the description below that I think will definitely work for us. Uh, the main benefit, of course, having a powered one will enable us to actually last longer as some adapters don't provide power. And unfortunately, that makes the experience very limited as as you're using your phone you're depleting the battery and that doesn't really help when you're connecting it to your pc obviously none of that really matters because for the most part the same cable that's transferring the data is also providing power uh, now it doesn't supercharge it but it at least keeps it from actually draining the battery very fast so keep that in mind very nice ways very nice and really cool things to be able to do with decks especially now with decks on pc the link to pc as well as the traditional way of using decks like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, if you have a Samsung device, go ahead and fire up Dex and see all of the things you can do on your phone.